Hi everybody, just a short video today to look at a simple 3D tool that can help us add up several different forms of distance measurements. The command is called Kogo Add Distance, or C-G-A-D-I-S-T for short, and it can be found on the Civil 3D Analyze ribbon down on the Inquiry panel, and we'll find the icon here for um, the command. It's got the uh, summation symbol on it, so if you have any trouble finding the icon itself, we can always type the command in directly at the command line by typing C-G-A-D-I-S-T. Once the command is launched, we can see that it, it supports entry of distances uh, several different ways. We can either enter them as a number with the keyboard, we can specify points within our model to uh, uh, define a distance, or we can select uh, text objects and it will, li will literally read them off the screen and use those values. So this can be a tool that can be a resource that we can use in a number of different ways. In today's example, I'll be looking at it maybe for some estimation purposes. So for example, I'd like to maybe um, do some redevelopment or uh, reconfiguration of the road in this area, and I want to estimate quickly maybe uh, some information about silt fence that would be required. So I can start picking some points in this area. As I pick two points, it tells me the, uh, the distance and then the total cumulative distance. So now I've got two of them. I'm up to uh, over 1,100 feet. We'll put some on this side and then pick some points over on the other side as well. All right, so as I continue to do that, it gives me each individual distance, and I get a total distance um, cumulative that is, uh, is maintained as I go. Now, at any point, uh, it, I'm not uh, stuck with just one particular data entry. Uh, I can mix and match as I work my way along. So, for example, if I want to type in some values, uh, maybe I want to add in uh, an extra 250 feet, I'll type that in. It will automatically add that to my cumulative number as well. I can even, if I've got uh, text numbers specified in my model, I can touch those numbers and it would add those into the list as well. Now, in this case, I've got uh, text here. I'll show you how that works, but um, it's not uh, uh, truly a number if it's got a foot symbol on it. In many cases, text within our model would have that foot symbol. So let's go ahead and take that off and then I'll, I'll show you how that would work. Now the important thing to remember is these have to be text. They can't be M text. They can't be labels. They can't be annotative objects. Um, they the blocks or anything like that. They, they have to be physically just AutoCAD text entities and the uh, foot symbol removed. So let's go ahead. To, they're already in my case text objects. So now I'm going to use the find and replace to remove the foot symbols for these. We'll not search the entire drawing but instead just search in this area to grab those two. And we're going to find what? We're going to find the foot symbol and we're going to replace it with nothing. We'll replace all. Two matches found, two objects changed. And the foot symbols have been removed and now it will participate just fine with our command. So we come in, we select the add distances. Uh, we'll come down for select text. What I want to do is I would hit S to tell it that I would want to select text. And now if I come down and touch the value, it automatically reads that and applies that to the command. We'll hit S once again, apply that to the uh, text value. It automatically puts it in the command line, gives us our cumulative, and then we can continue on uh, picking points or doing whatever we want to do, enter values to continue to uh, develop our cumulative number. So once again, this can be a, a fantastic tool. Estimation is probably the one place I would see using it most. If I wanted to get some idea on how much storm sewer is required, I could pick points or what it's going to take to uh, gain access to a particular area. Um, can be a fantastic tool to pick points, determine those values, and come up with a quick number. All right, so I hope this uh, presentation has been helpful, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. See ya.